we're also simplifying the sum and difference of several radical expressions. Now recall that we can only do that if the radicands are the same. So what we'll do here is to express the radicands as the product of prime factors and then let's see what we can combine later. For this first term, we will rewrite this as the product of two terms, one of which is a perfect square, so that we can use the law of radicals and take that uh, factor out. So for 4, we have 2 squared. This is a squared, and we will be left as the second factor. We will do the same for this next term. Again, one factor should be a perfect square. For 25, we have 5 squared. A will be written as the first term in the other factor. And we have B squared. We will leave the third uh, radical untouched. As you can clearly see, A squared is also a, it's already a perfect square. Plus, for this last radical, we can write this as 4 squared, there's your 16. A will be the first term of the other factor, and here is your B squared. Now, we apply the law of radicals and take out the perfect squares. So we'll have 2A times the square root of B minus 5B times the square root of A plus square root of, or actually plus A square root of B plus 4B square root of A. We can combine these two factors because they share the common term square root of b. So you have 2a square root of b plus a square root of b will give us 3a square root of b. And these two other factors both share square root of a. So negative 5b square root of a plus 4b square root of a is negative b square root of a. So this is the simplified form of the original addition and subtraction problem.